Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. What the Kill me! Obi Tabby! You so suck! Michael Bay formers do suck. Good job, buddy. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with 31 horror toys in 31 days and today we're taking a look at a trans Transformers figure. It's the Premier Edition Skeletron from Transformers The Last Night. Now this is a Toys R Us exclusive figure and I saw this um, at, right after the movie had come out. I picked him up along with uh, Megatron um, who is also a Toys R Us exclusive. If you've not seen a review on that figure I'll put a card on this uh, video so you can go check him out. And uh, yeah, this one is kind of cool. It's basically, I think, was it Steelbane uh, redone with kind of the skull um, head on it? Uh, so he's kind of the zombified. If you have not seen the movie, just stop watching right now because I want to do some spoilers or we'll keep watching. I don't really care. Um, the, they, he kind of comes back like some revived dead Transformer from the end of the film. So I thought, oh, look, Zombie Transformer, perfect for the Halloweens. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Skeletron in the packaging, and uh, this is just like the other Premier Edition Transformers that we've been getting for the movie. This is Transformers Premier Edition Skeletron. We get some uh, little um, uh, hexagonal type, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, honeycomb pattern type things going on for Cybertron for whatever reason, they're giant bees. Skeletron in there, looking all kinds of cool. It says, only at Toys R Us. And then top of the package, basically that motif continues around with some Cybertronian. Side of the package has some Cybertronian. The side of the package has some artwork. And it says it's a deluxe class figure. There's nothing on the bottom. So yeah, it's kind of a close up. It's a Premier Edition. There he is in his Scully Glorious Toys R Us. And then Cybertronian on the side. And then yeah, pretty much all that kind of stuff. Artwork. On the side, looking kind of cool. Definitely digging that. And back of the packaging shows Skeletron in his robot mode, in his dragon mode, and then it's got a um, very tiny little write-up that says "Knight of Cybertron," and that's 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 all it says. That's that's it. <laughs> um, and then it shows the Megatron Toys R Us exclusive that is also available, which is an IDW re-sculpt repaint, um, just as this is a Steelbane re-sculpt repaint, but I think it looks cooler than Steelbane, so that's pretty darn cool. Here is the back of the packaging, a little closer. So yeah, there it is. There's the Megatron, and if you've not seen that Megatron, like I said, I'll uh, add a, a little card link. In this video, you can go check him out. He is pretty darn decent. So let's go ahead and get Skulltron out of box and see what we think. Here we have Skulltron out of the packaging, and while this thing looks cool, it's going to be uh, like the Berserker figure from this line for me. It's just really going to piss me off because um, it, it's it's terrible in, in in this robot mode here, and I got a feeling it's going to be worse in the Dragon mode. Everything is loosey goosey on the front, especially the big metal piece here. It feels like it should clamp to something in the back, and it looks like it should, but nothing connects, which makes this armor piece just flop around. The other problem that it's got is uh, the wings are so top-heavy um, that you've got to get it in the right stance on the legs, otherwise he's just going to fall over. So be aware of that. This may be a figure that just is better left in the box to look cool and zombified. Now that being said, I really do dig that head sculpt and I like all the paintwork on the armor. When I was going through looking at figures at the store, they had I think three of him and um, each one was a little bit different because all this dry brush uh, kind of hit the figure a little bit different. So it's going to give a lot of variance. 
So if you do see him and you've got multiple choices, look at them because they're all going to look slightly different. Uh, the armor and the head, I mean, they're all just ever so slightly painted different. And then um, the sword, this is kind of interesting. It's a, um, a rubbery type of material, uh, which is interesting. It's kind of cool the way it's uh, designed. It looks... I guess like that stuff they had in the movie. I like the Cybertronian on the side of his wing there. I think that looks pretty neat. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, he's very, very weird. <laughs> I just, I, I have no other way to, to describe that. He's just very set up, very strange. Um, and he's tiny. I mean, he really is very squat. This is not a deluxe figure. It is much smaller. It's about halfway between a scout type figure and a deluxe. Um, so yeah, definitely kind of weird. That all being said and complained about, let's look at articulation on this guy. Um, let's see here. So his head, his head is on a ball joint, but you don't get that much movement out of it. It's very stiff. Um, it can look down a little. And as you see, like, look at the, look at this armor bit. I mean, it just kind of bounces around on the front and it looks like it should clamp like right here, like these pieces should all clamp together, but it just doesn't. Um, and I don't know if it's this figure or just the design, just kind of bad. His wings are on ball joints, so you can kind of pull them back if you want to. Um, it's all part of transformation, I am sure. Uh, let's see, he's got a ball joint up here at the upper arm. Uh, these pieces also move, so you can pose that around. He's got a twist at the upper arm, a single jointed elbow. Um, with ratchet joints, which is nice, and then his hand can also spin. Uh, there is no swivel at the waist. Legs kick up that far. They go all the way back. They're on ball joints, so they can kick out a pretty good deal. He's got a single joint on his knee, and then he's got a, is it a ball joint? Yeah, a little tiny ball joint on his feet uh, to maneuver around with. So yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation on this guy. Let's see if we can even get him to stand here. I mean, ugh, this mess of a robot. I'm just not impressed out of the box thus far. So taking a closer look at the figure, I will say I love the head sculpt. I love the zombified skull with all the dry brush. I like the armor with all the uh, kind of a greenish blue uh, that's dry brushed on there. I think that's really cool. It's very patinaed. Um, the wings are pretty decent, uh, but they don't match the rest of the figure, really. Um, they, they splay out pretty well on the back there. Uh, it looks like it should be pretty decent as far as design goes, but that's just everything on the upper torso is just floppy as hell. Um, this is definitely a figure that looks cool, but it looks cool either just standing there as a robot or leave the thing in the box. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the armor looks awesome with all that paint on it, that kind of uh, brass color and all the patina, dry brush everywhere. I mean, this is what makes the figure, the head sculpt in this armor paint. Everything else is a bit disappointing. Uh, the sword, I like the kind of uh, broken up, rusty sword look. Uh, it just needs some of that dry brush that the rest of the figure has to kind of make it look old. Uh, back of the figure, it's eh, it's okay. Uh, the wings, not too terribly bad, but it looks like it needs that kind of weathered look. And that's, I think, the biggest weird thing about it is the majority of the figure looks very weathered, and then the wings don't, which is very strange to me. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, the armor on the front of the knight here looks very, very good. All the patina, weathered, dry brushing everywhere on uh, the armor uh, looks great. Love that brass work. The feet, not big enough to stabilize the big wingspan he's got going on there. Um, I think the feet needed to be larger um, to kind of hold him up a little bit better because he's just very top heavy with those wings and then he's got his tail and then the dragon head kind of fold up in the back of the legs which kind of fill it out pretty well so that's pretty decent i'll give it that uh but yeah we definitely need bigger feet uh for this big goofy goofy robot to get him to stand right for comparison here we have Scullytron with his TRU Wavemate for the movie line, Megatron. And this is a repaint and slight redeco of the IDW Generations uh, Megatron figure that turns into the Stealth Bomber. All they did was put a Last Night head on the guy, 
and then redecoed it in the gold and silver. I do like this figure um, because I didn't pick it up uh, before, but I like the deco on this. And frankly, I think it looks better than some of the other Megatron figures we got in this line. Um, and uh, this guy, I mean, he's just a clunky mess. I mean, he has a zombie, so I guess that kind of works. But he's definitely probably just going to sit up as a robot on my shelf looking all zombified. He's uh, not very good for playing. This one, at least, has a, a better chance of your kids playing around with him and really digging him. So here we have Skulltron in his dragon mode, and it looks pretty good, right? Looks pretty good, right? No, it's a lie. It's all a lie. This thing is a floppity mess. It is just really stupidly put together. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, it's, ugh, this thing. It's just, it's just bad, bad, bad. Um, it, this is basically it. You get it in this pose and you put it here and that's all it's going to do. There is no playing with this. Um, a little kid is going to hate this. Um, it's just a terrible floppy, floppy mess. And just kind of to show, I mean, all the parts are just kind of sitting there. Nothing clamps together. Um, the head's okay looking. Um, it looks all dragony, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, the way that, I mean, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Um, the feet are just hanging out in the open. The hands just kind of hang there. You can't get him into a flying pose. Um, the wings do move uh, like this. You can open them up, but they're so heavy that these little ball joints can't do anything with them. So all you can really do is put them in like this walking pose, and that's it. I mean, this thing is just atrocious as far as a transformer goes, uh, which is a shame uh, because I like the design of the robot. I think it looks good, um, you know, if the wings weren't so heavy. Now, I, it was so bad when I was transforming this thing, looking at the instructions. I had to go to Sean Long's uh, video just to kind of see what he was doing, and I wasn't doing anything wrong. It just really sucks. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, and one thing that he noted in his video that um, when you put this guy back into robot mode, you can take the wings off and it stabilizes it a little better um, because the wings, to be honest, really don't do much for the figure. But yeah, this, not impressive at all. Which is what I expect from a Michael Bay former. So is Skulltron a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? Eh, this is an easy pass, really. Um, if you collect the Toys R Us exclusives and want to get this, go for it. It does look good. I will give it that. In the robot mode, so much like the Berserker figure uh, that uh, the first one I got in this line. I've just been, I don't like Bay Formers because they're generally not designed very well, and this is a great example of that. I'm going to presume that the Steel Bane version of this uh, character, which is not the Toys R Us exclusive, is about the same. I haven't even seen Steel Bane in the stores yet, um, and it's freaking September at the time of this recording. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, this one, yeah, it's okay if you just leave it in robot mode and have it stand there or leave it in the package. I almost wish that I just left the thing in the package. It probably is going to go back in the box because I kept the box and just sit up on the shelf that way. I like the patina on the armor. I love the zombie skull head. Um, it just is a terrible transformer. It really, really is. It's goofy to transform. I'm not impressed with the dragon mode, and the thing is so darn gangly in this robot mode, it just, it's its not fun at all uh, to pose on a shelf. So there it is, unfortunately. Skullytron from Transformers The Last Night for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days! And this is a horrible transformer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.